Before we start, let's discuss why do we want to run native query inside Excel and why do we want to use SQL Server Management Studio or any other app? Well, to answer the discussion is maybe you don't have access to all these applications at, at your work, in your office. Because I personally worked in a company where I had no access to such application, but had access to the server where I could pull the data from. So this is the one of the reason. And the second reason is that maybe you want to make your queries faster. Because when you pull the data to Power Query and you add lots of steps, it becomes very slow when you're pulling special large amount of data. So this could be your second reason why you want to do this. So there might be more reasons which I'm not aware of, but these these are top my top two reasons to use the native query inside Excel and not to go through all the steps and make very big list of steps inside Power Query to load data. Alright, so let's begin. To do that, because hopefully you will have access to the server. Just go to the data, get data from the database, from SQL Server database. Start down your server, server name here, your database name here. Click OK. There you go. This is the table from a database. Click on transform. This is my database table name. Just remember that because we're going to use it in a minute. So close and load to the uh, existing worksheet. Maybe cell 10. Press enter. OK. We would need another small table which will which we will use to write our queries and those queries will be automatically applied on this table. Not on just this table, they will be just applied on the SQL Server in the backend. So let me rename this as a query. So query, select two cells convert this into the table by pressing Control T. Make sure to select my table has headers. Okay. Make it a little bit bigger so you can so you can see your queries. In here, you have to write your native query as you would write in SQL Server Management Studio to pull exactly the same data. So the query would be very simple, basic query. Select everything from dbo.test. Let me make it a little bit fancy. Center top, yeah, so I can read it properly. To, to get this information, this last bit, if you don't, if you're not sure about this, just click on your uh, query, click on query, add it. Right click on navigation, go to view native query. At the bottom of this page, you will see this from dpo.test. Don't worry about these brackets, just remove them if you have them. Close close. So what we're going to do, we're going to convert this into a Power Query table. So select it, go to data from the table range, right click on it, drill down, rename it as a query, press enter, go to file, 
close and load to make sure you always select only create connection for this one click OK so what we're gonna do we're gonna connect this variable to this table so go to the power query again click on your database that you fold normally now we're gonna write the same query in here so delete the navigation bit click on this little setting button click on advanced option and paste this code here or here select star from dbo.test the star means everything you probably know what you're doing click ok nothing really changes here but what we're gonna do here in the formula bar we're gonna reference this query so every time we modify this this gets executed so just remove everything including the double quotes type at query because I, we gave it the name query press enter as you see nothing changes if this doesn't work straight away you probably have got some security option turned on you will probably would need to turn them off to do that just click on file option and settings query options make sure in the, the security tab you uncheck this one in the privacy tab tab select this one click ok now close and load nothing really changes now the real magic begins we can apply native queries basically if I do alt enter here and write I don't know let's select just London on column 4 we are colon four equal to London enter and refresh this there you go we got just London on column 4 now let's apply one more filter and column 5 is greater than 200 maybe refresh it there you go column 5 got filtered as well so basically this is how you run your native query inside excel and if this is the data all you need you can basically copy this one and when you pull the data from your sql server you can write this query over here after mentioning your SQL Server and database name and everything will get pulled as fast as it can be this will make your life easier and faster you can also make it automatic basically when you click enter here when you basically step out of this cell this can get automatically updated if you want to do that you will need to run a VBA code on your this cell let me know in the comments if you need the video code I'll paste it uh, maybe in the description of the video thank you very much for watching again and if you want more of the more of these kind of tutorials please like share and comment and please subscribe this is my first video thank you very much